one small step for man, one giant leap. So, I guess you want to do it again. But it's important, and it has extraordinary implications for all of us. Scientists have now detected mysterious radio signals coming from space. What does that mean exactly? We don't know. So what, what do you think this is, or what could it be? Well, these are called FRBs, fast radio bursts. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? Well, these are called FRBs, fast radio bursts. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. Scientists have a mystery on their hands. Signals from outer space are being detected. But what's causing the unusual sounds and where exactly are they coming from? They generate more energy than a billion suns. They generate more energy than a billion suns. Just holler, bullshit, and let it ring through the land. The energy and radio frequencies is so great that eventually the entire universe will be aware of this one explosion. And then the question is, what drives these things? Something big is happening, and scientists on Earth can detect it. You sort of think about E.T. and stuff like that. <laughs> I can't think of a mystery uh, that we've had this enticing in a long time. Some people believe in renegade theories that perhaps there's a design to some of these things. Do, do they seem to be behaving in a way that suggests a design, an intelligent design? Well, first of all, we've detected 500 of these um, bursts of radio radiation. Most of them are irregular. They burst once in a millisecond, and then they're gone forever. But recently, in the Chinese radio telescope, uh, they were able to show that their, their uh, bursts are periodic. And some people are saying, maybe, just maybe there's a reason for that. You see, if you were an alien civilization and you want to have a coming out party, so to speak, wouldn't you want to advertise to the entire universe that you have come of age? And that's what these bursts of radiation can do. They will eventually permeate the entire universe. Now, if that sounds crazy to you, just realize that even on the Earth, astronomers about two years from now will celebrate the fact that 50 years ago we sent a message saying that we have come of age. Carl Sagan was the one who famously got this information together about who we are and they broadcasted it to the heavens so that some alien civilization will pick it up and perhaps encounter us and say, hi, we picked up your invitation for your going coming out party. Interesting. Well, they you know, haven't shown any malicious intent so far, uh, whatever this is. I was a corporate manager of Fairchild Industries in 1974 through 77. I met the late Dr. Werner von Braun in early 74. At that time, von Braun was dying of cancer, but he assured me that he would live a few more years in order to tell me about the game that was being played, that game being the effort to weaponize space, to control the earth from space and space itself. The strategy that Werner von Braun taught me was that first the Russians are going to be considered to be the enemy. In fact, when I met him in 74, they were the enemy, the identified enemy. We were told that they had killer satellites. We were told that they were coming to get us and control us, the dirty commies, that whole story. First the Russians were the enemy against whom we're going to build space-based weapons. Then terrorists would be identified, and that was soon to follow. We heard a lot about terrorism. Then we were going to identify third world country crazies. We now call them nations of concern. But he said that would be the third enemy against whom we would be needing to build space-based weapons. And the next enemy was asteroids. Now at this point, 
he kind of chuckled the first time he said it. Asteroids against asteroids were going to build space-based. So it was funny then. And the funniest one of all was against what he called aliens, extraterrestrials. That would be the final card. And over and over and over during the four years that I knew him and was giving his speeches for him, he would bring up that last card. And remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. We're going to have to build space-based weapons against aliens. And all of it, he said, is a lie. And all of it, he said, is a lie. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready!